Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So, uh, so we've seen this in the previous video. The limit of this thing as n heads towards infinity will be zero. We've seen this in, in the previous video. So make use of that to uh, to determine if this will converge or if or if this will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so uh, so to do this, um, lo looking at looking at this, looking at this, um, while well, looking at this, uh, at the back of your mind. Think about the uh, the p series. Think about this p here, where p is greater than one. So when you look at this, think about the p series. Well, looking at this, um, imagine this as being, uh, imagine this as being, whatever up here, as being n to the power of ten over eight. So uh, so break this up as as one block multiplying another block. So uh, so 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 here you've got ten. That's that's the same as nine. Plus one here, so uh, so break break this up as as this. Now at the back of your mind, this is a p series, uh, p series where where the p here is greater than one. So so we know this thing, this component here will will um, will converge. But then looking at this, well make use of this, make use of this. We've seen this in the previous video. Well we know that the well th this thing here is your a here. And uh, this thing here is your your b here. We, we we know that the limit of this thing, the limit of this thing equals zero. We we know that the limit of this thing here equals zero. Now, for you to have a limit of something equals zero, it means that uh, lo looking at that, looking at this, it means that um, well, if you have a limit of zero, it means you're heading towards zero as n heads towards infinity, which means you're bounded by by a, a number c. So, so you're always as n heads towards infinity. You're always less than the, this constant c. So, so for you to have a limit of zero, it means you're you're bounded by a constant c. So, looking at this, hang on, looking at this. So, looking at this, looking at this. Uh, the, for we we know that this has a limit of zero. Uh, that that means you're you're heading towards zero. If you're heading towards zero, then you're bounded by 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 a constant. Well, it, it, you're you're bounded by a constant, which means that this c here is always bigger or equal to to this thing here as n heads towards infinity. So so looking at this, for you to have a limit of zero, it means you're bounded by by a number c. Well, this number c here, this number c here, is um, is always bigger or equal to to this thing here because this thing here is always is heading towards zero. So uh, so we can actually say that this thing here. Is bigger or equal to this thing here. Well, this here is a constant, so we can take the constant out. That would then give us this. Now, looking at this, this here we know this is a p series where where p is bigger than one. Well, this, nine over eight is bigger than one, so we know we know this thing here is going to converge. Well, this thing here will converge times a constant. It, it will the whole thing here will converge. Well, if this thing here is bigger or equal to this thing here. Then this will have no choice but also to converge. Don't forget, um, yeah, eh, yeah. So, so if this is um, this is if this converge, therefore this will also converge. Okay. So overall, our series here will uh, will converge. Okay.